Welcome to the official personality guru. INTPs prefer to take a laid-back approach to life, preferring to spend more time in contemplation than in action. They have very little opinion about everyday things like what to eat, what to wear, and so on. But often think deeply when it comes to big ideas or philosophies they are keenly interested in and are uninterested in keeping schedules and may often find it challenging to follow through on some of their projects that they have initiated. Thus, they may appear demotivated and passive to others. INTPs are often quiet, contemplative, curious, and innovative. They seek mental stimulation like your sister's nails seeks a chalkboard. Their pull towards the imaginative frame of structured creation is long and lasting. A deep need to fully understand their area of focus tends to set them apart from other types. Given many INTPs end up becoming experts in their field over time, it's no secret many find themselves leading others. INTP leaders, much like ENTP leaders, dislike being forced into company rules and regulations. They want free bounds in which to create systems and optimize the congruency of their findings. Although INTPs can work more easily within the bounds of rules than ENTPs, INTPs still desire a sense of freedom and autonomy in their workload. Today, let's talk about INTP leadership, how the INTP handles managing others. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the official personality guru and ring the bell icon to get regular updates on our latest uploads. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. INTPs are visionary leaders. They instinctively conceive a vision for the future that is based on a clear logical understanding of the current systems and trends. They're also open to exploring several alternatives and directions for the organization. The followers of the INTPs will find them to be insightful and intelligent. However, INTPs need to learn to articulate this vision well. Often, their insights may be too complex for others to understand and therefore make their visions appear ambiguous or unclear, even though they may be very clear in their heads. Also, they may suffer analysis paralysis, considering too many alternatives and ending up choosing none. While leadership roles are important, not everyone is suited to these positions. Some people are meant to lead, while others prefer to follow or even just remain on their own. For some people, it isn't that they would make for bad leaders. They don't feel comfortable or happy in these types of positions. It takes a specific type of person to fit well into leadership roles, as well as enjoy them. Being a leader isn't made for everyone, which isn't at all a bad thing. For some people, it just doesn't feel right to command others and be the one to keep them all organized and focused. INTPs aren't often seen as leaders, since they don't like being in these types of positions. For the INTP, it is often more comfortable to be independent and has their own space from people, and so having to lead and instruct can seem rather exhausting. Not everyone desires a leadership role, but that doesn't mean they are incapable of handling these positions. Being good at something and enjoying are certainly different things. Just because the INTP doesn't necessarily want to be a leader doesn't mean they don't possess certain traits and natural strengths which can help them excel at it. INTP Leaders INTPs don't usually feel comfortable in leadership roles and tend to avoid these positions when asked. They prefer to be independent and have their own space, so having to dictate to others can be rather draining. INTPs become truly exhausted with too much social interaction, especially if they have to constantly worry about the needs and desires of those around them. Being a leader often means having to assist others and pay attention to their actions and even their emotions sometimes. For the INTP, this can feel truly exhausting and isn't something they are likely to search out. Having to deal with giving out instructions and orders can be challenging for INTPs, even if they know the best choices and path to make. They are strategic people and can often analyze the situation to find the best choices and the right plan to put together. INTPs know how to strategize and their abilities to analyze make them great at figuring out how people can succeed. The struggle for them is commanding others since they don't like feeling like they have to tell people what to do. If the INTP does have receptive people, then they can certainly instruct them and explain the best ways of getting things done. 
INTPs need time to themselves and often prefer to work more independently. They don't like feeling tied down to situations and so being a leader can feel a bit overwhelming. While INTPs might enjoy the strategic and logical aspect of leading a team, they don't necessarily enjoy the social part of it as much. Having to instruct others and constantly ensure that they are doing things correctly can become rather frustrating. INTPs don't want to have to be bossy or demanding and dislike micromanaging people. For the INTP, it is much more rewarding to have freedom and space to get things done on their terms. Because of this, they might prefer to have a distance when they are trying to accomplish something. And so, constantly being asked questions can be draining. How about you as an INTP or any other personality type? How do you handle managing others? Be sure to watch until the end and share your experience for a chance to have your comment pinned. INTP as followers. INTPs don't feel comfortable as followers. As they don't like blindly doing what people instruct them to do. They're much more independent people and want space to make their own choices. For them, it is often better to have space and freedom. This is why INTPs do work well alone rather than in groups. They can certainly collaborate with people and do their best to work in a team. Especially if these people are good at being logical and understanding the INTP's plans. They believe in working hard to figure out the best way to work with people when they have to. But they can become a bit drained by it. For INTPs, it can often be best to have more freedom in the workplace, so they can utilize their sense of creativity while they might not want to lead. They don't like following someone without being sure they can trust in their instructions. INTPs don't like being bossed around and can often challenge authority when they don't believe the person leading is capable of doing a good job. This causes the INTP to struggle in some situations, especially when where they are being asked to follow orders from someone they don't respect. If this leader or boss doesn't give the right instructions and seems inefficient, the INTP will become very frustrated with them. INTPs can follow instructions from someone highly intelligent and capable, but they also do better with someone who can think outside of the box. When the INTP is told to do things in a manner that is too direct and stiff, they become exhausted and frustrated. They do better with leaders who are willing to hear what they have to say and take their suggestions. INTPs have so many ideas inside of their minds and they want to be heard. If they feel like their boss or leader is listening, then they can be responsive to this. INTPs can be either leaders or followers in the right circumstances, but they are more comfortable working on their own and having plenty of independence to get things done. INTPs are quiet, analytical, strategic leaders who have a clear vision of the future, preferring to stay out of the spotlight. INTP leaders often lead or manage out of necessity more than anything else. They are competent in what they do, and they expect the same level of excellence from their followers as well. INTP leaders prefer to work with others on a one-to-one -one basis rather than in a group. They do not see the need to connect personally with any of their co-workers or team and therefore may seem aloof or cold. However, they are still very committed to their team. It is just that they are not adept at demonstrating their concern. Nonetheless, their demands for excellence will sometimes cause them to be critical and sharp in their words when they encounter someone who is performing below par. In general, they use praise very sparingly believing that criticism is a strong motivator as praise. This may create distance between them and their co-workers. INTPs are innovative in their execution to achieve goals. They understand that there are more than one way of accomplishing a task and welcome different views from different people. They dislike hierarchy and prefer to allocate tasks to people that they deem competent. However, such an act may offend and undermine certain people who see the value in a hierarchy. Also, INTPs may appear passive to their followers too. They prefer the act of strategizing and developing ideas rather than executing them. This may frustrate some of the followers who see little point in strategizing and want to get their hands down to work. Before we continue, if you enjoy the video, make sure to give us a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the official personality guru for more amazing video. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with our content. Here are some tips for development. 
follow through. You love ideas and you may spend more time thinking about these ideas than actually making these ideas come to fruition. When you share a vision with your team, develop perseverance to push the idea to completion, even though by then it may not seem exciting or interesting to you anymore. Understand that a completed task, no matter how imperfect, is still better than dozens of uncompleted projects. Learn to be personal. Your impersonal and introverted nature may appear as aloofness or arrogance to others. People may find it hard to connect with you and work well with you as a result. When you can find the time, ask a team member or co-worker out for coffee. Share a little about your personal life and learn more about the other person's life. You will find that for some people, having a relationship with their manager or leader significantly increases their motivation at work. Use realistic action plans to map your ideas. Your ideas often start out as a theory or hypothesis. However, in the context of executive leadership, you have to take these ideas in your head and break them down in specific, realistic, actionable steps. Although not natural to you, this is the form that most people will understand. When people are clear about their tasks, they and you will find they are far more effective and motivated to complete it.